I'm Vicki Von Vivia here at Chicago 3 Media at the Quidam at the Sears Center in Hoffman Estates, backstage where we get to see some of the performances. We're here with Lisa. She has performed in the aerial hoops. What does it take to practice for something like this? Um, we well just witnessed our training and we kind of do that every day. Um, we also do the shows every evening. So you kind of get used to what you're doing and almost become second nature. Still have to concentrate, you're kind of high, but <laughs> it's all right. And where are you from? There are people from all over the world. Where are you from? I'm an Australian. There's, uh, I think uh, every, everyone on the troupe, about a hundred people, including technical and artists. We represent over 20 countries, I believe. So you go to Montreal, does everyone fly to Montreal? Or is there a way that you can submit online for the people who want to join? There is a way you can submit um, online. I think online you, you know, you state your interest, but you have to send in a video of things that you, you know, can do. And it's like an audition tape. So there are auditions held throughout the world at certain times. But if you can't make them, you can con contact them and send in your stuff. Now everyone has to do their own makeup, and everyone varies in their makeup a little bit, is that right? Yeah, they uh, teach you how to do your makeup in Montreal before you get to the show. And uh, it's, it's so weird the first time you do it, because you, your hands are just not used to drawing those strange lines all over your face. So the first time can take about three hours, three and a half hours to do. Eventually you'll get it down you know, to about half an hour, an hour. Um, as you do it more and more often. And We're here with Jessica at the Kidam backstage. What does it take to prepare for something like this? Uh, well, it's a show that's already been touring for 15 years, so it's a well-oiled machine. Everybody knows what they have to do. But today the main uh, thing that's happening is uh, warm-up and training backstage and on stage to make sure we're ready for the show and that everybody gets acquainted with uh, the stage, how it's positioned inside the arena and also the new, uh, the new arena that we're playing in. Okay, and if somebody new has to come in, do they do they go many times? Do they look at the show many times, or do they just kind of get right into the swing of it? Um, it's a it's a process. Um, first, they're going to be training at our head office in Montreal. They're going to be cast for uh, a character uh, and also their their main act, and they're going to have to go through costume and makeup because maybe some of you don't know, but they do their own makeup every day for the show. It's a process that can take up to an hour and a half for some. So um, so once that once once they have that down, then they're transferred on tour, and then the integration is. Um, nice and slow or sometimes very speedy for some. It's really depending on the individual. And where in the world has this show toured? This show has been on five different continents uh, and it's been seen over 10 million people so it's been around the world already and now we're taking it back um, to either new cities or to cities like Chicago or Hoffman Estates where it's already been but for a very short uh, limited engagement so here were seven seven performances in uh, at the Sears Center. The Kidam put on by Cirque du Soleil is here from Wednesday the 8th to Sunday the 12th it is at the Sears Center in the Hoffman Estates and I'm pretty sure that everyone should go see it because I've only seen a few clips of it but it is so cool it's amazing how they can do all these tricks anyways Vicky Von Vivia with Chicago 3 Media